Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waken up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts. Okay. But as of recently, what I've been meditating upon is, um, you know, how everything uh, pretty much stems from a mindset. Okay. And what I mean by that is um, for us to even be in this ministry, okay, there had to be, um, you know, some mind, I won't say mind altering, okay, but, you know, according to the, the mindset we had in this world, okay, like uh, the scriptures say, that we must be born again, okay, and where does that, um, where does that uh, manifest primarily, okay, and that's in your mental, your mindset, your thought process, Okay, the things that we used to do and the things that we thought were lawful and expedient, you know, once you come into this ministry, they're not. Okay, actually, you were taught completely uh, contrary to what the scripture said. Okay, and it was it was systemic. Okay, and we know that that stemmed from what the curses. Okay, and really from our disobedience towards our heavenly Father. Okay, and by process. Okay. Uh, <laughs> For lack of better words, we became ass backwards, man. Ass backwards. Here it is. We're God's chosen children. Okay. And we probably were showing them the least reverence. Okay. Now, like I said, um, you have something called plantation Christianity. Um, you know, the conquistadors, they came and forced uh, Jebus on our people. Okay. But like I said, you know, to, to balance that that thought process out or to get the true understanding of that, we deserved it. OK, now the Heavenly Father has uh, poured out his mercy and his grace that we can come back into this thing, man. And uh, we've been awakened to who we are, okay, our nationality and what the Heavenly Father orders us to do. OK, and that's what people think. They think this is uh, optional. OK, and if you're an Israelite, it's not. Right? Now, if you're a heathen, you have the other nations do you. Have a ball. Like I said, Lamentations 4 and 21. Now, obviously, that was speaking to uh, Esau, Edom, okay, to rejoice and be glad. But shit, the, you, you people are up under him. And um, so you might as well take on that same vibration, rejoice and be glad. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> according to the scriptures, uh, you heathens got hell to pay, man, okay, for what you did to the children of Israel. You see? But, uh, you know, not to get off track, but the point is, Okay, there's a certain mindset that you have to have in this thing. Okay, and as you get into the scriptures and as you grow in this ministry, you see it's all, all in your mind. Okay, you got scriptures like uh, study to show thyself approved. Okay, you're not just studying to go out on the highways and hedges and teach and do shows. Obviously, you have to do that. Okay, to do to be able to do those things. But ultimately, it's for the times of trouble. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at that time, okay? And that's a mental thing. That's a mindset, you see? And it's really, the, the and that's what we, uh, you know, you know, I hate to say it because we can't, <laughs> we can't meet the Heavenly Father halfway. <clears throat> but as far as uh, our part of the ordeal, outside of our obedience, is to have our mindset upon you, how about Shemiah Shah at all times, okay? And now is the rehearsal okay we're rehearsing it like the scriptures say rehearsing the righteous acts and the reason why we're doing that so it can be embedded within us okay so when <clears throat> uh the food truck stop run, stop running okay civil unrest breaks out sedition amongst men all of the things that the scriptures say they're going to happen okay we develop a mindset that correlates with the scriptures and ultimately if we continue into the end it's going to get us salvation you see <clears throat> But now is the time, you know, early on in the faith, you coming in this thing, you, you can't wait. You can't wait till the Lord uh, uh, does something. Okay. But uh, uh, to the contrary, you better wait. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I know it's a, uh, a saying that brothers have, you know, man, I can't wait till the Lord return. Well, what you going to do? <laughs> you ain't got no choice but to wait, you know, but I, I say that jokingly, but <clears throat> 
Yeah, that's the reality, man. And the time, the, the reason he's long suffering to us is ultimately so that we all can get our shit together, man. Okay, meaning, Lord willing, we're of the elect. Okay, once the elect gets their shit together, the Heavenly Father's gonna make moves, man. Okay, now obviously, like it says in what's that, uh, Jeremiah, uh, I believe that's, uh, no, Salakia. That's uh, Zechariah 13, okay, and 8, you know, where it speaks about the uh, one third. And, uh, you know, two thirds of my people shall die, obviously, here in America and Babylon, and one third shall be brought through the fire. OK, letting you know that you're going to have to go through something. OK, but if your mind is set upon your how about Shemiah Shai and you have faith in that what he wrote in these scriptures. OK, it ain't like we going off, of, uh, uh, you know, an assumption or something that we think might happen. No, no, no. The scriptures say uh, give diligence to make that calling of election. Sure. Meaning you can make sure that you're delivered. You just got to do what the scriptures say. Follow the script. Okay? And the majority of that is mental. A mindset. Okay? And having faith, like I mentioned, that the Heavenly Father will fulfill everything that he wrote in his Bible. And there are scriptures that say that. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. But none of these shall, uh, none of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. And one of the, uh, the most fulfilling prophecy is that he's going to deliver Israel. Okay? Like you said, like I mentioned in Zechariah, he shall bring the third part through the fire. Okay? But it all starts in the mind. That's why the scriptures say what? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. What is your heart? Your mind. Set it aright. Understand that, hey, we're a worm. Hey, Jacob, you're a worm. You don't have no uh, extremities. <laughs> okay? You're just a worm. And you're at the mercy of everything. As everybody else in this world is, but more specifically, dealing with Jacob, okay? The children of Israel, we're worm. The heathens hate us, okay? The, uh, Esau Edom has devised a sinister plot, okay? To eradicate as many of us as possible. And really, it's via Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? So that's, you know, that's the catch right there. Oh, so the Heavenly Father is the one devising this, ultimately? Okay, why? And not just to kill Jake. No, nah, Jake is off as fuck. They're sick in the mind and they need to be put down. Okay, but just as uh, uh, King David said, I believe that Psalms 19, if I'm not mistaken, or 17, if I'm not mistaken, where it speaks about uh, 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 preserve me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Well, guess what? The Heavenly Father is about to swing that sword at an all time high. Okay, and the slain of the Lord at that time shall be from one end of the earth to the other. Okay, and all that helps us do what? Develop a mindset, setting our heart aright, constantly and endure, constantly enduring. Okay, and like I mentioned, the reason he's long suffering is so we can get ourselves together. The the, the 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 every day that passes is a chance to grow nigher and nigher unto Yahweh by Shem Shah. Okay, and as the scriptures say, we can never we can never go far enough. Okay, so there's no cap on it. Just keep doing it. Just keep going. That's what diligence means to keep doing it. Keep going, okay? You, it may not be in your spirit to do uh, five videos a day, okay? Or two videos a day or one every single day, you know? But do what's in your power and keep doing it. Why? Because it's going to develop the mindset, mindset that you need to have to be delivered out of this hellhole, man, okay? And especially uh, to the, uh, you know, going out to the younger brothers, to, to everybody. I'm, hey, first and foremost to myself, okay? And that's the reason I've been meditating upon it because seeing the things... And seeing how everything is 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 uh, beginning to build up, and you know, watching different articles, I mean, reading different articles and watching different posts, and you know, seeing how uh, diesel shortages, the food trucks uh, 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 with medicine, and those things are gonna stop coming in. Okay, you're gonna have to have faith, and that's what the scriptures speaks about from the beginning, from Genesis through the Apocrypha, all the way through Revelations, man. You know, and more specifically, he rules the 11th chapter going into faith, man. And you get an accounts of men who del who were delivered because of their faith. And what is where what is faith uh, uh, manifest in your mind as a mindset? OK, this thing is all mental. OK, and if we develop that that mental status that the Heavenly Father is pleased with, then guess what? He will give the ability, give us the ability to do the physical things that we need, the, 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 the carnal things that we need to do to endure or to survive, and then ultimately to be kings and priests under the order, okay, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shine King David, man. 
okay? And it's beautiful. It's written in the scriptures that mean it's going to happen, okay? But you have to develop it and you have to, uh, you know, meditate upon these things, man, okay? Because it ain't going to be a fucking cakewalk. Excuse my language. It's not, okay? The scriptures don't say it will. Now, the scriptures say we'll be preserved, okay? But we, we're going to have to go through it. We're going to have to go through it to get to it, okay? And if our heart is set upon Yahweh by Shemel Shai, uh, he'll be with us every step of the way, okay? So um, I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I say Shalom.